At first, I thought I'd have you put it in the mail, but when I looked at your profile and saw that we were practically neighbors, well, I said, why not meet in person? This is serious business. And I always relish the opportunity to meet another collector, another one of us. I've become close to many on the forum whose faces I wouldn't recognize if they were here today right beside us. Though they probably know me better than many of my friends on the outside, my so-called mates. I've also made some good friends on the forum as well. Uh, This is the first time I've met one. Like this, in person, I mean. uh, I was a little um, uncertain about it. I didn't know what to expect exactly. Don't be intimidated, William. I'm just like anybody else in our community. I'm just a person. I'd hardly call you just another member. Your collection is the envy of us all. And everything you say is taken as gospel on the boards. You're the queen of the forum. Everybody needs mentors. And the others look to me for inspiration. Why shouldn't they? I've spent years cultivating my collection. I've given it all of me. And I I want you to know that's what I'm going to do too. I may be new, but I'm dedicated. And I I found something here. My passion. And it's my passion too. You don't know how it has changed me, and now part of your collection will form part of mine, and I will always appreciate that. Do you have it on you? Yes. Yes, of course. May I take it out? It's yours. As long as you brought the money with you, that is. It's what we agreed upon, isn't it? Yes, it's perfect. It's just what we thought. You notice the date? February 1976. It was actually published in January. The second week, January 9th in this case, from the information I've gathered. And although it's impossible to say the exact day on which it came into his possession and assuming it was purchased on the newsstand during its initial run, which it seems highly likely due to his obsessive nature when it came to collecting, as noted by the researcher James Edwards Tyson, his book. It was just before Sherilyn Andrews. This is incredible. Yes, it is. He may have gotten it while she was there. While he had her there with him, that is. Do you know what happened to Sherilyn Andrews? She was his last victim, and by all accounts, his masterpiece. She first went missing just before Christmas. A notorious party girl and runaway, her family and few friends paid little mind to that, her latest disappearance. She had never been a person with a bright future. Better times were not waiting for her, so when she met Oliver St. James, it was actually her salvation from all the prosaic miseries and humiliations and despair from which she, no doubt, would have suffered later, as we all do in our lives. But she, she was fortunate. She was destined to be his masterpiece.
I know. I know all about how he held her and how he hurt her and how he ended her. I even know about everything he did to her afterwards. But I enjoy hearing you tell it. Shall I continue? Telling you what happened? No, wait. Just... wait. I feel it. I feel him. This is wonderful. I've always felt it before, but never this strongly. I... I can feel all of him. His voice, his skin, his touch. Can you feel it? Can you feel him too? Yes, I believe I do. I want to show you something, William. I want you to feel him as strongly as I do. I want us to be together.
his masterpiece. And now she's our masterpiece, too. She's been a pet project of mine. I don't believe it. It's just like Sherilyn Andrews. You made another masterpiece. <laughs> I have. And I've been meticulous. In my recreation, I followed our master's work down to a T. Not one detail has been spared. You know, when I read his letters and I hold his possessions and I look at his photographs, I can always feel him. But today, after meeting you and touching him and touching you, it is as though I now know him. After I complete this masterwork, I will truly know him. We will truly know him. I want to share this with you, William. You're going to help me complete this. And then you're going to know him in all of his totality and all of his splendor. And you will feel all that he felt and all that I feel. And we will know all that he does and we will be together. Sure, if I can, I've never done it before. You can, and I know that you will. You'll do it for me, and you'll do it for him, and you'll do it for us, won't you, William? <laughs>